Hello, this is Gaz7, and today I'm going to teach you how to make custom cutscenes for Super Mario 64 DS. That's right, custom cutscenes. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a European ROM. This and all these things provided in the description below. I'll bundle them all up in one zip for you. But basically, you want open Super Mario 64 DSC. And what I'm going to do is just verify that my uh, that my ROM is European. And sure, I'll make a backup. It's always good to have a backup. Blah blah blah. So I'm patching my ROM. And an easy rate way to check what version you have is to go into Tools and Text Editor. And you can see right here, I'm using a European ROM version. And that'll let you know that this version is correct. Now once you are able to do that, you're going to want to extract File System Editor and CupaScript.zip. You don't need this one yet. This one, that's for the next tutorial, which I'll show you later but basically you're going to want to go into cup of script and this is basically the language used to make uh, cutscenes and I'll teach that in another video but for now what my goal is to get a sample cutscene running into the game and I can do this easily by making something called sample.kps and just open it with a text editor or whatever and basically all I'm going to do to test if this works is hit end. And basically, while this cutscene is going to do nothing, when you load a cutscene in a level, it will stop all the music and such. So if I don't tell the level to play music in this cutscene, if the cutscene loads, then it won't have music in the level. And so therefore, we're able to say or see if the cutscene works. Now let me X out of that and I'm going to hit edit run that bat and basically we have our thing here now we want to do dash L to make it a couple library because let's see if you click it this tells you the options and we want the script into a DKL now there's two things you can assemble it into you can do a binary and a DKL the binary thing is more of or more so for the next video which you will use ASM to load a cutscene but a DKL is going to be what you want in this case because the DKL already has all the ASM code you need so just do couplelib.kpl don't need to change this and it's going to be sample.kps then if I hit run.bat and it should convert you can see here I have cup sample.dkl and it has all this uh, ASM code and then at the end it'll insert some cup of script which that ASM code will run but how do we get the ASM code to load for a level well first we need to add the DKL file to the game which we can use with a file system editor there's two ways to get a DKL file to load which is to replace an existing file or add a new one I'm going to choose to add a new one using Josh's um, file editor. So I'm going to hit your .nds. And Josh made this file system editor so that you're able to add files, remove files, or do whatever. So I'm just going to go into the data folder and just make a directory called cutscene for simplicity. You could do whatever you want basically, but I'm going to add a cutscene. I'm going to go back and hit sample.dkl. You can see over here, I have sample.dkl. Now I save my changes and data cutscene. Yep, sample.dkl. Now we're going to go in Super Mario 64 DSC and we're going to make that DKL file run into the game. And how we do this is using something called dynamic libraries. Dynamic libraries are kind of a thing that Josh got working in Super Mario 64 DS using some ASM patches and this editor will automatically patch the ROM when you add dynamic libraries to the level and Starpants made the dyma dynamic cup library or DKL format which preloads some ASM code to run the 
Kappa script, which is a dynamic library, except it's set to run some Kappa script. And now we can actually play around with it. Now I'm going to replace or add the script to Bob on Battlefield. And I'm going to go to dynamic libraries and it says I need a patch. So I'm going to continue with it. And there we go. We have the dynamic library editor. Now this shows me all the files I can add as a dynamic library. I want to add this because it's the actual dynamic library we have. Hit save. Give it a few seconds and it should be good. All right. Now if I like were to go back into the level, you can see that I, it kept the DKL file there. And now when I go into that level, I'm in the game, I should not have music play because my cutscene is going to load. So let's see if that's the case. And look at that. It's not playing any music. That means the cutscene ran successfully in the game. Now what we can actually do is make our cutscene run conditionally. Like make, what if we want the cutscene to only run once per level? And that's what we're going to use conditions for. So I'm going to go into my Kappa script file and I'm going to go to sample.kps and how you do a condition statement here, which is pretty easy, hash save info byte number you want to use. So you're going to use 0x43 and then the bit number and I'm just going to use 7. The Mario 64 DS save file has two bytes available for free space so you can use 0x43 or 0x44 or and you have bits 0 through 7 to use so I'm just going to use this, these as the bits so I'm going to save that run dot bat and it can convert the DKL file you can see it's a bit bigger and the cool thing about this is if I just want to replace the cutscene I can just go in here and hit replace and go get my new DKL file and that's all you do to replace a cutscene so if you want to make a quick change you just reassemble it and that's about it so I'm going to enter Bob Arms Battlefield and the cutscene should play alright and you saw it crash but the reason for that is kind of unknown so I'm just going to add an instruction that does absolutely nothing maybe it's because I just can't have a single end here for some reason so I'm just going to add a nop cam which does nothing run it between frame 0 and 0 don't worry about the syntax yet you'll need to know it eventually but I'll teach it to you in another video but basically if you don't have this thing work so converting success like maybe you should end it with like two bytes like see this has like an even number of bytes see how this last row has all pairs of twos like maybe just add like a few zeros at the end or whatever but now that I added this knob can it should add like some filler space for me to work with so I'm just going to insert sample.dkl and now I'm going to run the European ROM now what this code does is like it'll only run if it's saved so I never saved after the cutscene ran so it's going to not do anything but now that that is set if I quit save and now I'm going to go back into the file and go back to Bob on Battlefield but the music should play because the cutscene already ran now and you can see that the cutscene no longer plays because I set it to save or load the cutscene only when that save bit is not set. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all later.